I was reading um, Bob Lefsetz's email newsletter, and he was saying that Bad Company is not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And I was like, wow, that is weird uh, to me. Yeah, what does it take? Would you please tell <clears throat> us? <clears throat> well, Gary, Gary votes. And Gary, <clears throat> did you not vote for <clears throat> Bad Company? Why not? I don't get, I'm not on the nominating committee. <clears throat> I only get to yeah. vote on who they give us. <clears throat> they've they never gave been you, offered. they've given, no, I think they have. No. They haven't? I've never no. seen them. Oh. I've never seen them on the ballot. Imagine this. Here's your nightmare. Like you're Paul Rogers. You beat the odds. You're in a band called Bad Company. You've sold millions and millions of albums, and you can sing your ass off. And then one day, he's sitting at home, and he finds out Gary Delabate is in charge of whether he gets into the <laughs> Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And he's sitting there, and he's like, what the fuck is my life come to? And then he calls his buddy. He goes, hey, I understand we're up again. It's uh, our 19th year. We're up again for Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, what have you heard? I heard uh, it all comes down to Gary Delabite. Gary Delabicio. Gary Delabicio. Gary Delabicio. De oh, I didn't know the guy from the Howard Stern show works in rock and roll. Oh, no, no, he doesn't. He listens to a lot of music. <laughs> Howard, you know that I'm one of 700 people that votes and no one Whatever. has ever not gotten in by one vote. Paul, we got word that Gary um, creates a lot of music lists, though. <clears throat> oh, okay, good. I thought maybe he didn't have any credibility. I didn't know he kept lists of music. <clears throat> What else can you tell me about Gary Delabiti that he's controlling my future in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? <clears throat> well, 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 he hosts he hosts something called the Wrap Up Show. <laughs> well, is that a music show? Yeah, no, he talks about Howard Stern. A great he is. <laughs> really? Wow. It doesn't sound to me like he's qualified to vote on my life's work. He doesn't work in rock, but he alphabetizes his vinyl. Oh, you mean he has a vinyl collection? That's right. Bad Company goes under B. If he had any bad company, right. go I hope he does. <laughs> I do. Hey, if it makes you feel better, he worked at a record store for a few months, like 40 years ago. He did order 99 Luf balloons for the record store. <laughs> uh, oh, really? You mean, in other words, he didn't write 99 Luf balloons. He ordered it for the store and was <laughs> responsible <right. laughs> for getting it in the store. Oh, now I understand. Gary's never written a song, but many song parodies have been written about his teeth. <laughs> oh, I see. So he's inspired uh, people. Yes, yes, very much so. Oh, good. Okay. Is he at least a good judge of things? Like, like what did he think when the iPad came out? <laughs> Is the iPad a, a, another breakthrough for Apple? Um, I don't know that it's a breakthrough for them. I, I, mm. In fact, I think in, mm. in a lot of ways it was a bit of a stumble for them. <laughs> oh, oh, Gary thought it was a bit of a stumble. He thought it wouldn't do well. He'll decide my fate at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yes, he's one of 700. Oh, okay. <laughs>